had issues with 11 people on their list. Of 51 people, those are friends of Kenofriata. Please, tell them that we are not sure about appointing enemies. All jokes aside, are those 11 who are not family members, not competent and qualified to serve? One would have thought that yesterday's press conference would have revealed how unqualified some of these appointees are, but none of them, or none of the issues you are discussing here happened yesterday. Is Kelly Gajapu not qualified to be on the board? What about Daniel Ogbami Tete as a head of GCE? What about Samson Agliko, who has been instrumental in the banking reforms? Charles Edubwahi is an asset to government, and so are the likes of Felicia Ashley and Yofi Grant who helped the MPP, and they were all part in drafting the MPP's manifesto. These are the men and women of caliber who willingly left their lucrative jobs in the corporate sector to serve their country. The world and country are seeing what Ken Oforiata, the finance minister, and his team are doing with the economy. Their competences and sacrifices are giving the nation an economy that can create jobs and prosperity. Ken Oforata, who contributes all his monthly salary to charity, is an example of selflessness, integrity, sacrifice, and competence. When did Michael Asaribediakon, the competent young PA, to the finance minister become a family member of Ken Oforata? This is palpable falsehood. He is not. The minister of roads is not related to the president in any way. But yesterday it was put out there. Nana Asanti Bediesu's mother is not on government payroll. The Ramadans worked for 2016's victory and are competent to serve. There is not a single person who has been appointed and who is not qualified to serve. Let us even say that all names they have mentioned yesterday are true. Which of them have been awarded a contract or given a national asset like John Dramani Mahama did for Ibrahim? Ibrahim Mahama was given a whooping 80% of Ghana's known bauxite deposit valued at some 200 billion. It is not family and friends, but it is about putting the office before who can both be loyal to the government and country and are competent enough to do the job. 